It's your open source advocate and I'm back with another video and today I wanted to talk about noise suppression when you're trying to use systems like Linux. So today in Windows you get noise suppression from other applications and the author of Cadmus actually talks about that a little bit. Uh, you have CRISP for Windows, RTX and so on and you have it for Mac OS as well and a lot of times Mac OS just has it really kind of built in it just kind of works out of the box you don't have to use third-party libraries a lot of times just depending on how you have your audio set up of course but for Linux there's not a lot of capabilities there for you to use something on the front end to help you control that noise suppression now really this is just a front end over the pulse audio capabilities that are actually already there in Linux it's just that those are a little bit harder to get to, and if you have a nice little front-end utility like Cadmus, it makes it easier. So I wanted to show you kind of what that feels like or sounds like when you try to use a microphone. And for people like me, where you're online in meetings a lot of your day when you're doing your regular work hours and work day, or maybe you're doing online video meetings with people around the world, people you know, people that are friends, maybe you're just part of a, a virtual Linux users group, or maybe you're part of some other virtual group that meets and you need good sound quality coming out of a regular mic. Um, Cadmus is really super useful for that. So currently I'm sitting in my office and I have an air conditioner running because it's hot outside and I have a server that I'm setting up for other videos that's back here behind me just blaring and blasting the fans and it's really loud. Now I'm lucky this mic that I have helps cut some of that. I'll do some post-processing before I put the video out to also help cut some of that. So I've got a lot of noise going on in the office and I want to show you what it's like if I switch to another mic where you can hear a lot of that noise in the background. So we're going to jump into it right after this. I just want to say thank you so much to all of my patrons over at Patreon for all of your support. It really means so much to me that you enjoy my content and that you want to support my ongoing efforts to provide you great information about amazing open source software. Thank you so much from the very bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate it. Now let's get started. So I just want to show you what this mic sounds like with all the background noise here in my office. I'm sure that you can hear it over this particular microphone. And you can see here, even on the meter, what it looks like when I'm not talking. It's still just got a ton of noise in the background. So I'm going to go enable Cadmus on this microphone, and then I'll show you what it sounds like whenever it, Cadmus is actually turned on. Now I'm using the filter where Cadmus is actually blocking the background noise. So whenever I'm not speaking, you shouldn't really hear anything other than my voice. I hope this shows you what Cadmus can do. You can see here, even on the meter, that when I'm not speaking, it really just drops completely out. So this is the way that it sounds whenever you've got Cadmus running and you select that as your microphone input instead of the actual mic. So we'll go out and we'll get Cadmus and we'll install it. And I'll kind of show you how the interface works and how to make things function with it. I think that's the part that will really interest you. And it's really a great way to have a very clean, no background noise type conversation, even when you have a loud environment around you. All right, now that I'm back to my normal microphone, we're going to go back in here to Cadmus, and I'll have this link in the show notes and the description here, the GitHub link. Basically, you're just going to go into the GitHub page, and you're going to go over here to Releases. And you'll see right here they've got a 3.0 version. So you can either download the Deb if you're using a Ubuntu or Debian based system. They've got a zip if you're not using one of those systems. Of course, you can get the source code just like always. But then they have this app image that should run on most uh, OS's, Linux OS's that will run an app image. So basically, I just click on the app image. It'll download and I'll go ahead and click it and you'll see it downloads pretty quickly. It's not a very big file. And then what I like to do with the app images is I go into my downloads. Now you can see I've already got it here. So I like to go into my downloads folder and find that uh, app image itself. I like to cut it out of that folder. And then I have a folder in my home directory called applications that I created. And I paste that app image into the applications folder. Now, once you've got that in there, you need to right click on that app image, click on properties, click on the permissions tab. Now your OS may have more than one tab for permissions or, or more, more than one tab here for the properties. So just find the permissions tab and you want to make sure that this allow executing file as program is checked. If it's not checked, just check it, close permissions, and then you can run Cadmus. So all you have to do is double click it. Now, depending on your OS, you can create shortcuts or anything like that. And basically, you can run it from your normal startup systems, from your Windows key or whatever you're using uh, for your OS. 
Once you start it, you'll see this little icon up here in the top right that looks like a microphone. And when you click on it, you'll see this option here that says Enable Microphone Noise Suppression. When you click on that, it'll list out all of the sound devices that it detected whenever it started up. Now, if you didn't have a device connected to your system when Cadmus started, it may not see that device. You may have to go down here and click Exit, restart Cadmus once, and then see if it picked up on that device that you're looking for. But once it does, you can just click on that device and it's basically going to block all of that background noise out of that device. It's going to create kind of a virtual microphone that you can then use in your different applications. So instead of picking the normal microphone, you would look for the Cadmus microphone that's being, that's basically taking out and filtering all of that noise. And it, it's pretty easy to kind of spot. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, show you how I do it. Um, so if we go here, um, so once you enable Cadmus on an actual interface like we have, you can go into whatever application it is that you're using. As long as it sees your different audio interfaces, you can go down and basically choose from those interfaces. So right now you can see that I'm using this microphone and you can see the audio meter going up and down. And if I select, if I open this up, you'll see that there's also the webcam. But then all the way down here is this one that says Cadmus device and then it says use me. So in this case, you would pick that as your input device, and that's how you would get the results that you saw a while ago when I showed it to you there. So I want to leave this on the USB PMP mic for now because this is what I'm using to record with. But that gives you the idea of how you would do this, and it's really anywhere in the system that will show you any of your mics and let you select which microphone you want to use. You would then, of course, just choose the one that says Cadmus for whatever you're doing, whether it's a call, a recording, or anything else. And it'll help cut out a lot of that background noise that you get I mean, there's so many calls where I have different reasons to have the background noise cut out, whether my family is in the house trying to do something, you know, I don't want to have to have them be quiet just because I'm on a call, or whether I'm out here in my office and I've got all these fans and air conditioners and everything else running. I don't want that to be the thing that everybody hears, and I know you guys have mentioned in the past or in my videos in the past that my, my air conditioner is too loud, there's too much background noise, that kind of stuff, so I've tried to get better at my post-processing, but when you can't do post-processing because it's a live call, a lot of times something like Cadmus is going to be the right answer. So I just wanted to show this to you guys. I think it's a really, really great open source project. It just is a front end UI that exposes a lot of the things already built into Pulse Audio and Linux in the first place. Hopefully when Pipewire comes along and gets a little further along and people are using that, they'll have something like Cadmus. If Cadmus doesn't make an option to use Pipewire with it uh, so that it can cut out the background noise as well, I think that'll be awesome. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, subscribe. Tell your friends about it so they can come along the journey with us, and I'll talk to you next time.